Autoimmune diseases uh, like diabetes or multiple sclerosis or arthritis are thought to uh, be caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. So let me first tell you a little bit about genetic factors. Um, there are a few autoimmune diseases uh, that are caused by a single gene mutation. But that's actually uh, not the majority of autoimmune diseases. Uh, most autoimmune diseases, like diabetes or the other ones that I mentioned, uh, are caused by a combination uh, of gene variations, maybe as many as 10 or 20 or 30 different genes. Um, some of these genes are in common uh, between the different autoimmune diseases, and some of them are uh, specific for a particular autoimmune disease. So, for example, if we think of type 1 diabetes or autoimmune diabetes, which is uh, an attack, autoimmune attack on the uh, pancreatic uh, beta cells that produce insulin, uh, one of the most important genes uh, involved in type 1 diabetes is actually insulin itself. And uh, the variation is not um, in the protein, the insulin protein, but it's actually in the gene elements that control the expression of insulin, uh, and in particular the expression of insulin in the thymus where immunological tolerance takes place. So we think that uh, there are some genes that uh, control the ability of an individual uh, to become tolerant uh, to his or her own uh, proteins in the body, and uh, if you're tolerant to them, so of course you won't attack them. Um, and they've seen that in some people with type 1 diabetes, they make less insulin in the thymus and so they become less tolerant uh, to it and that's one of the factors involved in the disease. Certainly not the only factor, but one of the factors. Um, and then there, as I mentioned, uh, many, many other genes uh, that can be involved. We're actually still trying to identify them. Uh, maybe three or four have been identified, uh, but there's a lot of work to do to identify, as I mentioned, 10 or 20 or 30 different genes. Um, as far as environmental factors, uh, I think there's a popular notion that uh, viruses may induce autoimmune diseases. Um, actually, there's very little evidence for that. Uh, there are a few cases, like measles um, in uh, mothers, uh, but um, actually, um, there, there's not good, good evidence uh, for most autoimmune diseases that viruses might be involved. Uh, there are different um, uh, environmental factors that can have either a positive or a negative effect. Uh, some bacterial infections or the types of food uh, that people might eat. Uh, but uh, these have not been very well defined uh, and it's actually a very difficult area to study. There's a lot of excitement at the moment about the relationship between uh, what's called your um, uh, intestinal microbiome and the development of autoimmune diseases. The intestinal microbiome is a whole group, billions and billions of microbes that normally live in your intestine. And uh, they're good guys. They help you uh, make particular enzymes that are important for uh, nutrition or important for the development of your immune system. And this is a whole big area that's come into play over the last few years. It's a difficult area to study these billions and billions of bacteria, um, but it's uh, quite interesting uh, and important. And there are a few cases now of a single um, bacteria in a mo mouse models of autoimmune diseases that can either promote or protect uh, from a particular auto autoimmune disease. Um, and many of us are interested in studying the mechanisms of this, uh, this very active area of uh, research at the moment.